Welcome to Catholic Mom Mindset, a daily show where you learn to walk closely with the Holy Spirit so you can live the life God is calling you to. I'm your host, Sterling Jaquith. Let us begin. Welcome to episode two. Today we're talking about bringing awareness to your thinking. So I am a life coach. I am trained in cognitive behavioral therapy, which is the idea that we can slow down our thinking, we can see our thinking, those are our thoughts, and then our thoughts create our feelings, and our feelings drive our actions. I talk about that in so many other episodes, but today I just want to talk about bringing awareness to our thinking. Because I was 35 years old when someone told me that I could control my thoughts. I think I had heard things like being grateful was important, but to me that would be like sitting down and just choosing to think grateful thoughts. I didn't really make the connection that I could redirect all of my thoughts. And of course the Bible tells us that we can take every thought captive to Christ, so we know this is possible. And we can be renewed by the transformation, the transforming of our minds. So I had read those verses many times, but it wasn't until I discovered life coaching that somebody really explained, no, listen, there's like a ticker tape going on in your mind. Like we could put a closed caption reel at the bottom of the screen and you could see all of your thoughts. We have 60,000 thoughts in a day. We don't see all of them. Some of them are subconscious, but I'm just talking about all the ones you actually hear in your mind. It's been so fun teaching my kids about this and saying, you know how you hear a voice in your mind sometimes? You hear your own thoughts? Well, sometimes those thoughts are true. And sometimes those thoughts are lies. And our job is to slow down our thinking enough to take every thought captive for Christ. So we can have a good thought like, I really love my children, right? Let's say they're playing quietly and you know those heartwarming moments when you look at them, you're like, oh, I love them so much. They're so sweet, right? You could hear those thoughts and think, oh, those are good thoughts. Then you may see your kids fighting, just like a totally normal sibling fight and it's annoying to you, and you see it, you feel frustrated, and you snap at them, and then you have this thought, I'm a bad mom. You hear it just as quickly in your mind, I'm a bad mom, kind of rings in your mind, but that one's not true. I know you're not a bad mom. If I met you, and I asked you about your life, and you told me about how you take care of your kids, I'd say, oh my goodness, you are such a good mom. You love those kids so much. You care so much about them. Do such a good job taking care of them. We think a few of our behaviors, like yelling at them sometimes, immediately discredits all the other things that we do. And we think, oh, I'm a bad mom. So we didn't take that thought captive for Christ because Christ is standing there going, hey, kid, that's yours. I don't think that that thought isn't true. But a lot of us, not only do we have a thought like that that isn't true, but then we plant it. We plant it in our mind and we water it. I'm a bad mom. I'm a bad mom. We water it. We make it grow. And when I find a thought that isn't true, I don't really spend any time wondering how that got there. It could be... A Cosmo magazine you read one time when you were 17. It could be a movie that you saw. It could be something negative that someone said in your life. It could just be the culture. It could be the devil, right? There are actual demons around who try to trick us into doing things. It doesn't matter where it came from. The point was you grabbed it at some point in time and you planted it in your mind. Some plants have, are, or some of these thought plants are shallow. And some of them have deep roots. Okay, those are the ones we've watered for a long time. Those are usually the ones that we took on as little girls and we've just been watering them ever since. And so taking every thought captive to Christ is about actively sorting out the thoughts. 
is this a good one or is this not a good one? And what I mean by that is, is this true? And is it helping me to become a saint? Is it leading me closer to the Lord? Or is it not true? And then there are some thoughts that are true, but it actually doesn't help us to think them. For example, there's always war and famine and poverty and sex trafficking. Those are terrible things. It is true that those things are happening. But if you walked around only thinking about those things, it would create a spirit of fear in you. And God does not call us to live with a spirit of fear. Now, if thinking about child sex trafficking fills you with conviction or motivation and then you go seek out an organization that's fighting that and you choose to support them and tell other people about them, that's a great thought. I would say keep that one. But if you're watching too much CSI and all of a sudden you think that people are going to kidnap your children and you don't want to go anywhere, I would say, hey, let's not think about that. So today is just about bringing awareness to your thinking. All day, I want you to just notice, what am I thinking right now? If I'm watching that ticker tape, what is it saying? Okay, and I'm just going to leave you with this verse. Take every thought captive to Christ. Okay? Take it for him. Either take it and keep it or take it and throw it in the garbage because it's not of him. All right, you guys, have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madefor.greatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.